To make this type of strap that is both fabric and vinyl, you will need to have one eighth of an inch double-sided tape. So this is very thin double-sided tape. Make sure that it's the one eighth of an inch. You will need an iron, some way of pressing the fabric. I like to use the heat, but you can also, you know, use your fingers. And if you're using an iron, I would suggest that you use something like this, like a starch. Uh, this is a light hold. It just keep, helps it keep it crisp and it helps the fabric stay in place. So you need two pieces for uh, this type of strap. You need your piece of fabric and then you need your vinyl. And the vinyl is obviously smaller. The vinyl is one inch wide by however long your strap is. In this case, I think this is 60 inches long. The strap is two inches wide. So you're going to take your double-sided tape and you're going to peel a little piece off. And it's important that you do this a little bit at a time. Don't rush this process because the tape is sticky and it can get uh, it can get messy. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to place that tape, the sticky side, right along the edge, the long edge of the strap, one side. Okay. You're just going to go carefully and slowly. Okay, so I'm going to do one piece at a time, like I said. I'm gonna show you how it's done. So I'm going to take the protective other side of the tape and it's, as you can see, it's the shiny side, so that's sticky. And I'm going to fold it right along that edge of the one eighth of an inch. So right there. This is a very, very thin fold, okay? So you can stop there. Okay, so here it is. And you can continue like that all along the one side of the strap, one edge of the strap. First, and now I'm going to peel it off and start folding it. And this is the part that I do a little bit at a time. Take your time here, it's okay. You just want the fold to be really, really skinny, to be one eighth of an inch wide. Once you have completed that step, you are going to fold it again along that line, that edge, that inside edge. But this time, 
you are going to use your heating press, your iron, whatever it is that you use to, you know, heat the fabric, and you're going to use this uh, starch. So I apply a little bit of the starch first. Fold it, take my cordless iron and just press it. And that will help it stay in place and stay crisp. As you can see here. the same steps but on the other side of the strap. the starch to help it stay in place. The next step is to join the fabric strap to the vinyl strap. So what you're going to do is that you're going to insert your vinyl fabric in between the little um, hems that you created, just like this. So you open the fabric and you're going to insert your vinyl in between those folds, the folds that you just made. And for that, you can use wonder clips or uh, paper clips as well. And we're going to do that for the entire strap. Also, if it makes it any easier on you, you can do one side at a time. Our next step is to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch it at one eighth of an inch seam allowance. So all along the inner edge right there. And you're going to stitch it with a three millimeter stitch length, three or three and a half. Something that I really like about this technique is that even though we're using vinyl in this strap. You don't need a Teflon foot. 
or you don't need to do anything special to the bed of your sewing machine because you're going to be stitching over cotton fabric, regular fabric. So that eliminates the need to have a special foot uh, or anything else. I'm, and I'm using my uh, a one eighth of an inch uh, foot, my Yuki foot. And now let's do the other side of this track that needs uh, stitching, okay? 